Well, hey folks, welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Uh, I've done a couple of uh, videos recently on this uh, Mataku 350-watt uh, uh, e-bike, and uh, very pleased with this bike, and uh, been riding it all over the place now. And uh, I, I like to take my dog, Tazzy, sitting right there. I like to take her along in my trailer behind my bike when I'm uh, going places and when we're going to go hiking or walking. And uh, what I've had is this trailer. It's made by Awesome A O S O M. But you can see it's uh, it's seen better days. I've had this trailer now for three years, and uh, Tazzy with her big butt, she kept pushing against the uh, fabric on the side and the wheels. And you can see the hole down there. She actually pushed her butt up against the wheel, and it tore a hole in the fabric. So I had to put some plywood. You can see I've got some plywood pieces in there. And then this trailer is the same exact model as that trailer right there and this one look, used to look just like that one right there it was nice and shiny black but I left it outside because I didn't have a place to store it in my small cabin I left it outside and it got really faded out now the material is still in decent shape if, if Tazzy hadn't ripped a hole in it and the only thing that I've had to do with this trailer is they did replace the tires uh, the tires that come on they're not bad tires but they're a, a kind of a cheaper rubber they're not real good for off-road so I got some mountain bike uh, off-road 20 inch tires and put on this thing and this trailer still works uh, but because it's got that hole in it and it's all faded out and one wheel is a bit wobbly uh, I one of the bearings is probably wearing out, but it's still safe and still runs uh, I can still use this trailer and uh, we'll probably still use it behind my uh, Mini bike. However, I wanted something new to go behind the brand new Mitaku So I ordered another one of these same AOSOM traders now I am going to be taking the plywood or cutting some more plywood to go in this before I use it for hauling Tazzy. That way I won't have the same problem that we had before uh, with her pushing against the tire. And I suggest that if you're going to be hauling a dog in it, put some, cut some plywood like this and just put them on the inside panels uh, to protect the sidewalls so that your dog can't push against the tire. Now the other thing you notice is that this has uh, side rails on it. And these side rails are detachable. The whole trailer can be folded down. You can fold the sides down just by pulling a couple of pins and undoing the Velcro. And the wheels come off. You, all you have to do is pull a pin underneath and the wheels come right off. So this is designed so you could store it down into a small space if you needed to. But I don't really need these side rails. The side rails are there for uh, brush guards if you're going off-road. They're nice for off-road, but I, don't, I won't be going off-road that much with the e-bike. So I'm not going to put the uh, side rails on them. They're just extra weight. So I'm going to leave the side rails off there. It's still just perfectly safe, just the way it is, and it can be road, drove either way. Now this, uh, like I said, it is uh, portable, and uh, you can fold it down. It is a really good size, which I'll show you here. It's a good size for hauling a lot of uh, luggage or groceries. Uh, if you're going to the store something like that or to haul a big dog my dog's 60 pounds and this is rated for 88 pounds and uh, if your dog is not trained for a trader uh, get him a little leash attach it to the front rail and then go really really slow for the first couple of days until they get used to staying inside the trader and then you won't have a problem with them jumping out you just you just got to train your dog tazzy she'll get right inside this thing and she'll just ride like she loves it she absolutely loves it and she doesn't like to get out unless i tell her to get out and we're going to go for a walk or something like that now this trader does come with the the lower hitch and this lower hitch is detachable it comes off or you can fold it underneath so you could use this like as a if you wanted to use it for a hand walker you could actually use it that way pushing it in front of you using this uh, bar here it does have a quick release on the front down there just one pin it's got a quick release to release the uh, toe hitch and it's also got a safety strap which you can see I got my safety strap goes up and attaches up here this bike has some holes convenient holes up there so I've got a safety strap that way if that happens to bust loose your safety strap just like on a car has a safety chain it will hold the trailer to keep it from flying off and going into a ditch or hitting a vehicle or something like that so this is made by AOSOM and uh, right now they've got them on Amazon they've got a uh, they just reduced the price on them uh, and they are $129 and normally $139 they're $129 and then they also have a coupon on there for $10 off so right now you can get one of these traders for $119 and I recommend this one simply because it's got a steel bottom it's not just fabric and it's got stood good steel solid steel uh, side rails all the way around a really good hitch I've never had a problem with the hitch on the old one and uh, the it's it's designed to hold a lot heavier weight than a lot of the others this hold up to 88 pounds a lot of the others are only rated for like 45 50 pounds and uh, I can use this for hauling the dog I can use it for hauling groceries because I just made a couple of runs uh, to town and this bike will do 30 miles real easy 
And so I can go to town, I can load up for, you know, a month's worth of groceries in that trailer and haul it back to town, back to my cabin, you know. I'm not using any gas at all if I need to, to go down and get that. Or, like I said, for using, uh, for taking it for Tassie for a ride. Uh, and if I want to uh, go camping for a couple of day trips, I can put all my camping gear in there. So what I need to do now is I'm just going to uh, cut some more plywood boards to go on the inside of this. And then I'm going to put Tassie's bed on the inside of this so she can go riding because that's why she's sitting over there. She's she's moping because she thinks I should be riding the bike and not sit here talking to you people. So Tazzy, show them how you get into the, the cart. Get in and you can sit down. Okay, so now you can see uh, Tazzy, how she fits in there. And uh, what I've got is I've got one of those dog beds and then I've also got a dog pillow bed on top of it. So it's got lots of good cushion in here. Uh, that way she's, you know, if I go over rocks or bumps or something like that, she doesn't need to be shook around. She's an old eight, eight year old dog. And so that gives her some traction also. And she's, she lays in there or she sits up and looks around and looks at all the other dogs. And like I said, I am going to put this plywood. I probably just transfer this plywood from this one to this one for now. Okay. So here you can go. Hey, Tessie, here you can see how I've got the, uh, the inside fixed up now and I just transferred the plywood from there over to here and I just I have have uh, holes drilled in the corners the top corners only and I just used a couple of zip, zip ties to attach the uh, plywood on both sides and I really recommend this if you're if you got a dog inside so they don't push up against the tire but you may also want to do it for the front and the back if you're carrying loads that might have a sharp edge or corner or something like that because all this is, is fabric so if you've got a load that's got sharp corners or something, it's going to poke through uh, your your uh, trailer eventually and it's going to rip a hole in the fabric. So the plywood might be a good idea to go ahead and use on all sides, front and rear and both sides, if you're going to be hauling anything uh, that might have sharp corners or a really heavy load or something like that. And it doesn't add that much plywood, half inch plywood doesn't add that much to the uh, weight of the trailer. So I've also got the flag attached. Uh, it's seen better days, but you know, there's good old... Uh, pirate flag there and it's attached i just use zip ties a little bit of uh, black electrical tape to hook that up and that is a uh, a whip uh flag used for atvs a lot you can get them on amazon there for atvs and you can hook one of those on and that will help people to see you from a distance all right tazzy you ready for a ride the only other thing i got to put in is you can see i've got a spot here along the uh, plywood I've got my walking stick in there, and I have to put her water bottle, our water bottle in. Always take a water bottle along in case we get dehydrated, because we're going to go off in the dunes and have a run. So we'll put that in there, in her bed with her. Stick that in there. You ready for a ride now, Tazzy? Okay, we're going to go. This, again, is the AOSOM, uh, the uh, Elite 2 trailer. Uh, bike trailer on uh, Amazon and I will put the link down there so you can go and look at this and you while you're on there you might want to also go take a look at this in Mitaku, uh 350 watt e-bike and that one still they have a hundred dollars off so it's uh, $7.99 before the coupon hundred dollar off coupon makes it about seven hundred dollars for that e-bike right there so you could get the uh, e-bike and the trailer for right around eight hundred and thirty dollars that's a pretty good deal right there I would get both of them at the same time if you're going to be riding the e-bike you need the trailer too right okay yeah oh the other thing I need to do is I need to transfer my flag. You can see my pirate's flag is just a little bit frazzled because I've also had it for three years and so I've got a new pirate flag. The, the whip is still good but I need to get a new pirate flag because it's getting kind of worn out but that's the way pirate flags should look anyway, anyway. So I need to transfer that flag down. I do recommend you have a flag on one of these. It just helps people to see them because they're low. Some vehicles are up high. They can't see the trailer below you and so the flag helps them to see you and also can see you from a distance and also helps you if you park off road and go for a hike or something. It helps you to find your trailer later uh, you can always spot the flag from higher up okay folks hope you enjoyed this video go by web by my website simplesolarhomesteading.com read some of the articles on the blog uh, get yourself a copy of the plans or my ultimate off-grid ebook 355 pages full color have a great day folks